In this episode, we talk about why grape nuts are probably not a good cereal for fat loss, Advil and overcoming injuries while lifting, and a story of the day. Okay. Hello everybody, welcome to Equals and Alternatives, episode 85. I'm your host, Mike Vacanti, and today we are reviewing grape nuts. Post with 10 grams of protein with milk. See Nutrition Facts panel for more details. Coming at you from Gary's Den, which has nice lighting. He's outside working, so I didn't want to shoot this outside. Um, it's actually a pretty cool room here. In my last week in Southampton, I... What else? What else is new? It's Monday. It's like 6 o'clock. I really missed the show over the weekend after shooting, you know, four per week, two weeks ago, four last week, try and get five out this week. I'm having fun with it. Um, got a good workout in today. My, I, so I did my first pull day. I did my first day that was the same as the day where I hurt my neck last week, um, doing weighted chin-ups, squeezing out a last rep on my first set of five reps. So it was on the fifth rep. And today, what I did was I skipped weighted chins. So I'm still, I still don't have full range of motion. I can't go back left very far. Otherwise, I feel a shooting pain up my neck, kind of from my shoulder blade up to there. So what I did was, for one, I didn't take any Advil yesterday. This is probably just me being an idiot. I don't know that the body has physical or mental tolerances to ibuprofen in such a short period of time as one to two days, but I didn't take any yesterday and then took four about an hour pre-workout today thinking that I would uh, feel the effects more or not feel any pain more by not taking it yesterday. Um, and then I actually have my gym bag right here. So I did that and then after my warm up, I warmed up super thoroughly and rubbed on, do I have it? got chalk, not that. Yeah, this icy hot balm, which I'd been using BioFreeze for a while, um, which is cheaper. I get it online and I hadn't used icy hot in a while. I actually like the feeling of this. Both are good, but just kind of to numb up you know, my, my upper trap, my mid trap under my shoulder blade. The reason I think I got hurt was from a lack of thoracic mobility and my lats are super tight. So Basically, the, the inability to extend, so like the opposite of rounding, my upper back, um, I think was one of the primary reasons that this happened. So what I did was I didn't do RPT style chin-ups. Instead, I started with a dumbbell pullover for four sets of 10, just to actually just stretch my lats out and get that overhead range of motion and work them a little bit, and followed it up by um, another hypertrophy series on an overhand grip lat pull down and kept the weight at like 80 to 90 percent focused on tempo and really didn't push it and that felt good and then finished the rest rear delts biceps everything else normally so that's where i'm at with my training let's talk about breakfast breakfast cereal and what we're gonna do so grape grape nuts and cocoa puffs um are they actually equal? Yeah, they're actually pretty close to equal. I don't see a lot of benefit in eating this over this. We have a little bit less sugar in the grape nuts, five grams versus I wanna say 20 grams, which really isn't a huge difference when we're looking at 50 grams of carbs in the bowl. Um, the most important thing here is for someone who isn't tracking their calories or macronutrients, they are gonna pour a bowl of this and it is gonna be like, a, like an 800 calorie bowl of cereal because these things are so small and so dense. It's a half cup has 47 grams of carbs and a half cup is nothing. To show you, I, I got all the tools today. We got this measuring cup. Not going over, like this might even be more than a half cup. But if you're doing a normal pour, you're gonna pour, oh, we're not gonna get it with this lighting. I thought the lighting was good. Like this is, <laughs> this is nothing. This is like a quarter bowl of cereal. Um, 
So if someone's just pouring a bowl of healthy cereal, they're actually going to be pouring themselves an 800 calorie start to their day, which is no way to, to, I mean, for me right now, trying to gain muscle and with good genetics and I've been in a surplus for 10 weeks now. And so I've increased my carbs a little bit. They didn't start as high as they are now, but 650 carbs on training days, absolutely great for me. For most people, for someone at maintenance, someone recomping, someone who wants to lose fat, starting your day with this many, like this big a meal and a non-protein meal just doesn't make much sense. Unless you adore grape nuts. Let's, uh, this is actually interesting to me because density, even for someone who's tracking, there's a psychological factor to density, meaning you know that you're getting 200 calories or whatever you're getting in the bowl of cereal and seeing it be like, like this much food versus this much food um, is a real difference. So three quarters of a cup per serving, two servings, that's three times the volume in the Cocoa Puffs. One, two, I'm even airing on the side of like under pouring. Three. Like, one of these is a, a full bowl of Cocoa Puffs and we have a, like a, a few bites of grape nuts. Anyway. That's interesting. Fiber is also something going on here. We have four grams in the Cocoa Puffs, seven grams in the Grape Nuts. Eat, eat a salad every other day and put some veggies in there and you're going to be fine on fiber. For our alternative, I don't have an alternative. I just ate an entire pint of Ben & Jerry's Froyo. That can be our alternative. Like, I've talked about, I've, I've beaten intermittent fasting into the ground, which isn't a magic bullet, as you know, is just a style of meal timing that works well for a lot of people. Breakfast isn't mandatory. Um, like if you have time in the morning, egg whites. You know what? I have a good one. Muscle Milk now has Pro Series, I believe they're calling it, where they are selling single serving muscle milk containers that have 40 grams of protein, seven carb, three fat. So that's like, that's actually perfect because we're in the 200 calorie range, except we're getting 40 grams of protein, low carb, low fat. Um, that's also fortified with micronutrients like cereal. Like when we look at this list, that's so sad. I'm, I'm sorry. I just wasted three seconds of your life, but we're getting some, some iron. We're getting some vitamin B6. We're getting, we're getting a few vitamins and minerals, but we're getting that in cocoa puffs too, down across the board. Vitamin D, riboflavin, niacin, folic acid, folic acid, folic acid. Um, we're getting all, all of that stuff in cereal. Muscle milk also does that too. So there's an alternative. Or just eat cereal if you really like cereal, but be smart about it. All right? Completely forgot. A, I'm rusty. I'm rusty today. I forgot a question of the day. Uh, let's see if I can think of one on the spot. What do people ask me often? Mm, we did the how to set how do I set up my macros recently um, man it's a one take show and I'm completely blanking it's pretty funny walking to CVS earlier today I saw this it looked like a brother sister like an older brother younger sister like 19 15 year old something like that going on but she was giving him a hard time about this peppered beef jerky he was eating and he I like walked by the part of the conversation when he was like 14 protein <laughs> five carb one fat blah 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 and like putting it in her face and then explaining what macros were and I just chuckled to myself story of the day remember your body is still counting macros even if you're not